Our Ferdinando Giuliano has a fabulous essay out now on how populism will play out in Europe. You've got a wonderful experience of this with your heritage in French politics as well. How do you predict that populism in its different forms will play out in Europe? A fractious, more alt-right Austria, Eastern Europe, the populism of Brexit, the challenges within France. How's that all going to end up in five years? First, uh, one must say that the populism had a bad year in 2019. And I'm delighted for that. First, they didn't win the European election. Exactly. Second, uh, if we have deal with uh, the UK, it's it's a form of defeat for populism. Uh, and Mr. Johnson made some concessions. Uh, third, in Italy, Mr. Salvini thought he could gain power, but he mm. forgot that the institutions resist, and that's very important. But that's not the end of the story. We still have the populist challenge right. uh, with uh, multiple facets, and we need to address all of them. And that's why. I think uh, the fight against inequalities in Europe uh, is a decisive fight in the future. You know, the, the crisis is over. Uh, we have less unemployment, less deficits, we have more stability, uh, we are creating a lot of jobs, even if there is a slowdown, but inequalities are there. And where there are inequalities, uh, people turn uh, in different sides, uh, in different camps in a country. We have now in a fragmented Europe with fragmented countries, mm -hmm. fragmented regions, fragmented people. And we need to address that through a, a very uh, constructive approach against inequality. Um, 